specific, too hot. Specific temperature you want to stay around? For powder. That's considered cold. Sure. If it's too warm, you'll have melts on impact, and then it'll start to say, and the dust will start melting. <laughs> no way, no. Don't touch it. I did get it. It's awful. Dude, oh my gosh. Got some parts going on from fresh from powder. Slow process. Got to tap and clean up all the threads on everything. So it takes a little bit. Coming together. Parts are going on. That's always a good sign. Got some new slides. Got some new slides. We just took off the old ones. Look at how clean. They cleaned up really nice. That's about how far we are right now. We're gonna try to mock up a little bit more before we head in tonight. But went with the CFR bars this year, so we'll see how we like those. All right, we got a little update video. This is what everything looks like. Put together on the skin. Got this powder coated. We got some gold wheels. And then I also have another color that's on my sled right now. It's a teal. Uh, we kept the purple rails, but it's coming together slowly but surely. Grant and I plan on putting the skid in the snowmobile today. So that should be a fun one. The sled is finally on its own weight, which is super exciting. Oh my gosh, look at this beast. What do you think? A lot of work, but, you know, it looks good. It's all worth it. How are we doing? Gonna do some tank polishing today. Normally it's something we do in the shop, but obviously we got a million sleds taken apart right now and it makes a big mess, so. This side of the barn, at least it's out of the wind because it feels like winter outside, even though it shouldn't be. Now this already comes raw from Moonlight and uh, it's pretty easy to polish these. Uh, just using the uh, Renegade, you know, like the semi-wheel kit, works pretty well. I'm no expert at this, but just take your time, do it once. It gets everything dirty, so that's why I got, you know, the snowmobile Baba Flava on. And, safety glasses and make sure you put gloves on too because everything you touch will just be black but uh yeah just made myself a little little jig over here normally i put this in the vise but not bad for a mechanic All right, today's engine day. 
We got Wamsley's. Both the Wamsley's here. A little Rosemary's here. The Rosemary's here. Grant. We're setting it in. We got Jolly here doing some brake mods. So since I deleted the brake light, he <coughs> realized that you can take the, <laughs> the assembly out <laughs> instead of cutting the wires. So I thought he was just gonna cut it, but not. Nah. He out. We're officially modded. Clean. Jolly mod. Alright, motor's going in. Under <laughs> green, do you remember? Purple. Do you remember? I ain't drop it down a little bit towards me. Going in, boys. And we got quite a bit done today. Grant just got all my clutches dialed in. I just finished my straps. So today, Grant got the gas tank mounted and bolted in. He also got the oil tank mounted and bolted in. Right now, we're working on priming the oil pump and the gas pump since I. So I have new fuels. Fuel pump. A new, yeah. Just a reset gotta on prime everything. The gas pump. You gotta prime it. Yeah, this is how it's looking so far. Obviously, still haven't started it yet, but we're very close. And I still gotta hook these little strappers up. I'm not sure if I took an update video on these all on there, but this is how they look on there so far. And then we're just gonna mount them, you know right there so that'll be nice and pretty did it prime already mm -hmm. what? speedy delivery we're looking at the last of the bolt bin Ooh. Did you grab the 10 mil? Yeah, I did. First startup. I'm gonna stand up. So I tried my best to get this content out as fast as I could. Like we literally got my sled started a couple days ago. So I hopped on it. I'm like, I'm getting this edit done. But that build took us exactly two months uh, from, you know, top to bottom, everything pulled apart, all that stuff. Insane. Unreal. I'm exhausted. Grant's exhausted. <laughs> but we did it. I want to give a special thank you to 365 Designs, Moonlight, Custom Fab and Machine, EK Powders, thank you guys very much, um, Snowmax Performance, my husband, I would not be doing this if it was not for him, honestly, Bikeman Performance, thank you so much, 
Um, I think that's pretty much everybody. Uh, Engine Ice, they're one of my new sponsors. Uh, they sponsored me last year. EBS sponsors me during the season. And we're sponsored by GoPro as well. So, super exciting, super fun build. Um, you guys, I tried so hard to hide Grant's build this whole video. And this next video coming up is obviously his new build. Maybe some of you guys have seen it in some of our social media pages, but we've been trying to hide it for so long now. And I was trying so hard to hide it in my videos. So I don't think I'm going to rewatch the video one more time before I post this, but I don't think Grant Sled is in there. Fingers crossed. But thank you guys all for your support and please like and subscribe and share. Um, we appreciate you so much and I hope you enjoy our you know, videos to come, so. All right, I'm done. We'll see you guys later.